Very nice. Thank you very much. Lentils are really good. Seasoned beef, please. Thank you, Done. Chef. It all has kind of a cohesiveness to it mm -hmm. yeah. that I find very appealing. Really delicious. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Pretty good. Holy cow. They both love the dish. Anytime Chef says something positive, you really kind of take that in and hold it, even if it is for a split second, you know, before he yells at you. With Scott's dish making a bold impression from the start, he has set the bar high for... Joy, please. I read this magazine. I'm excited. You read the magazine? Yeah. It's so nice. It's my favorite bathroom. Nice to meet you. Literature. Really? For real? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for you, I have a coriander crusted chicken. Chicken, please. I would hope for a little crisper skin and a little bit more composition in yes. the salad part of it. OK. OK. Thank you, Joy. Damn. I know I can do better than that, so I'm frustrated with myself. Just sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Today, it didn't work. With Joy's dish failing to measure up to Scott's in presentation and taste, the next dish to be judged belongs to Dainty, Delicate Jason. <laughs> Is that your nickname? Uh, Dainty and delicate. <laughs> <laughs> he makes this whole place shake when he wants. Uh, so we have a seafood lover's delight here. We have uh, some steamed clams and mussels, seared uh, scallops and seared shrimp, with a little bit of white wine. If you put this in a magazine, how the fuck would you make it? It feels a little bit like everything's swimming a little bit right now. No pun intended. Yeah, uh, you're a generous guy by the size of that portion. It's only one page, not a double page spread. <laughs> The texture's strange. It is a little strange. It's, yeah, it feels like leftovers. Thank you, Jason. What? Come on! Jason's failure to impress Judge Lori Buckle leaves Scott in the lead. Rochelle, the question is, is it better than Scott's? But there are two more chefs to go. So I did a pan seared duck, and then I did a little bit of dates also to kind of give it that richness. Rochelle's duck was like sticking up like a teepee, and I was like, I don't know how they're going to like that. I would hope for a little more elegance. Like, I just don't know how to plate stuff. Please, help yourself. He's such a man. I'm such a big believer in, you know, eating through your eyes, too. Absolutely. Their face. I love that face. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. After another dish falls short. Melanie, please, let's go. Only Melanie is left to challenge Scott for the opportunity to be featured. Melanie's strong, but I know flavors, I know food, I've got a great palate, and you know, I'm confident I'm gonna win. What I have here is a macadamia and hazelnut crusted filet, and then I did an Israeli couscous underneath it. Looks like jewelry on the plate. It's very pretty. Hmm. Everything's really nicely cooked. Thank you. And it's got that wow factor. Yes, I thought that was a really nice idea. Really, very creative. Thank you. Oh, yes! Yeah, I was pretty much in the zone that whole dish. I totally see myself on one of the pages, like. Nice, thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Chef. OK, right now, it's between Scott and Melanie. Scott, bring your dishes here, please, thank you. What the hell? They're torn. Ugh. Two very good dishes, guys. Really Cheers. nice dishes. OK, we do have a winner. Big man. Laurie? I, I was very impressed by everything you guys created. And I think in the end, I see one that, that truly won me over. Congratulations, Scott. Thank you so much.